So when I first started Every K9, I was in a building that I was renting for a real cheap price. The first month, I got about $5,000 worth of dogs. That was the most money I had received from training dogs, and I got it pretty much all in one lump sum. I would train the dogs, and then after I trained the dogs, I would start uh, just trying to work on the building because the building was a wreck. Nobody knew me yet in Houston. I didn't have any, any real social media, any real marketing. I didn't have a name on the outside of the building. So it wasn't like people could just drive by and see, oh, this is every canine. It was just a white building. I would try to find myself occupying my time after those dogs would leave. And I may have gone through a week or two without dogs. I would try to occupy the time by painting the building or putting up cameras or doing something like that. I was, I was walking by faith. There was a scripture that the Lord brought to me in the very beginning when I uh, just had rented the building. It was seek ye first the kingdom of God and all of his righteousness, then all of these things will be added into you. I was really focused on making sure that I was seeking the Lord's kingdom before I saw money, before I sought to make myself famous or, or viral or whatever. I want, I was putting the Lord before I was putting the, bit, the business. And there came times where, where all the dogs are gone and two weeks have passed and I have no dogs left and I made the conscious decision to keep put to put the money back into the building and just have faith that God was going to bring me the dogs. I was learning how to trust in the Lord. I was learning how to how to just rest in him and know that if I put him first that he would take care of the business, that he would build the business, he would take care of my needs. Another thing that I was doing is when I was training dogs, I was training dogs for God's satisfaction. I was training them up until a point that I feel that he would be pleased with the product. I was obviously wanting the people who asked me to train their dog to be pleased, but I wanted overall God to be pleased. And if I felt like God wasn't pleased because of the effort that I put in, I would I would want to keep the dog a little bit extra so I could so I could make sure that I was uh, pleasing God in the works that I was doing. There's a scripture that says, "All that you do, do it as as unto the Lord." So when you work, you're supposed to work as you're working unto God and not unto men. So I did that over the course of time, and it, and for that whole year, I would go through periods of time where I would have dogs. And then I'll go with two weeks without dogs. And then like two more weeks, three, four more dogs will come. And that same cycle will repeat itself for almost a whole year. And that's when I learned how to trust in the Lord with all of my heart. That's when I really learned how to do it because I was in a situation where I had rent to pay. I had no, mo no real money in the bank. And then I had building rent to pay as well. So I was in a situation that if it failed, I would lose the building. I would lose my apartment. I wouldn't be able to pay my, my car note, my insurance. I would just be really up the creek. And that's when that scripture came alive in my life where it said, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all of his righteousness and all of these things will be added. And to me, that's when I began to evangelize. That's when I began to evangelize. That's when I began to go out and talk to people about Jesus Christ in the streets. So I began to put that even before the business. And I made sure that I prioritized doing the work that the Lord called me to. So when I was doing my physical job, I was working at, unto him. And I also was doing the work that he called me to do. And that's when I began to see the provision of God. Before that, I always looked at things like, I need to be the one making the way. I need to be the one that's, that's working hard and that's, that's looking out for my best interest because that's how I was wired. You know, that's how I was raised. I always had to take care of myself. I always had to look out for myself. I always had to think 10 steps before time because I've been on the streets before, been homeless before. So I always had to think ahead for myself in that way. It wasn't that I was intentionally trying not to trust in God, but that's what was happening. I was putting my knowledge first. I was putting my efforts first. And this is the first time that the Lord was teaching me to put my efforts towards him and he'll take care of me. So the dynamics started to actually flip and I had to learn if I trust in him and if I do his will, he will provide for me. That's all we have today for the episode of God and Dogs. 
God bless everybody that tuned in, and I'll catch you on the next one.